super cute stuff, y'all. You know I have to be pink. It's giving Louis Vuitton, but it's really from Amazon. Like, you guys cannot tell me these are not the cutest earrings ever. Baby, can we just talk about the B? I mean, it's giving a little je ne sais quoi. It's just giving... Ugh, ugh, ugh. It's just... Don't mind us. It's just giving, okay? What is up, YouTube? It's your girl Tiana Lachey, also known as our girl T, back with another video. We are filming this on the 27th, and I just want to say I hope you all had a Merry Christmas and Happy Holidays. Had a good time with the fam, had great gifts, great food, great vibes. I know I did, y'all. I had a great Christmas. As I'm getting older, I'm really learning to appreciate the little things. You know, I feel like nowadays we live in society where, like, don't get me wrong, don't get me wrong, but there's nothing wrong with grand gestures, okay? I'm still a girl that loves a grand gesture, but I feel like we're so used to seeing all these grand extravagant things that we forget to appreciate the little things. And I feel like I got some little things for Christmas and I got some big things for Christmas and I'm happy with them all. So we are gonna jump right into the video. I'm gonna be showing you guys what I got for Christmas 2023. First things first was I got a new AirPods, y'all. Y'all wasn't gonna tell me my hands is ashy? Hold on, hold on, hold on. I use the Bath and Body Works. I was so happy, you guys. If you did not know, I have been without AirPods since, y'all, it's been like March, April. Too many months, okay? It's been too long. I was so happy when my mom got these for me. So, mom, I know you watch all my videos. Mwah, thank you so much. I love you, love you, love you so much. Well, my last pair, they stopped working. Like, I was charging them, and they'd say they were charged, but when I would put them in my ear, they weren't working yeah i went without airpods for so long and honestly i don't know how i was functioning right now that i have them i've been listening to music a lot more i'm not somebody who likes to just play music on my speaker on a regular the only time i really blast my speaker is like if i'm cleaning or if i'm like in the shower doing my makeup and nine times out of ten i still like to just put my airpods on because there's nothing like i don't know maybe i like to feel the music anywho I think after being without them so long, it really made me appreciate having them and getting excited about listening to music. And honestly, there was so much new music I missed out on. Any album that dropped between like April to December, I haven't heard, haven't listened to. The experience is not the same without them. Next thing I got y'all was this super cute makeup case. It's giving Louis it's on but it's really from amazon but it's so cute and it's so big you guys i look it's like the size of a lunchbox i did put a few things in here today just so you guys can kind of see like how big it is and how big the compartments are and what i love about this is you can take these out and like adjust the compartments how you want them in the top here there is a little side pocket and you can also put your brushes in here also i will be sure to link all the items i got in the description box for you guys next thing my mom got me was this tripod it's a foldable foldable mobile phone holder you know i had to get it in pink y'all i really wanted this tripod specifically because i can do overhead videos and you push oh damn let me be careful you push that out like this pull this out let me just hold on sorry but this little thing you spin it to adjust this so let me cut the lights on for you guys okay so there's two lights there's one there's one on this side and then there's one on this side so to use it as a regular tripod obviously you hold it like this also tell me this is not super cute it has this little remote so you can adjust the light settings maybe if i do it this way So yeah and i love this because it has a swivel so that turns but if you want to do it overhead i'm gonna extend this this swivels and then look y'all the one from this i fold it this way and then i set my phone in this and then there's a light on the bottom so super good if i wanted to do like uh nail stuff or 
you know, stuff like that. So I'll do what I got from my coworkers. Cause I got some super cute stuff, y'all. Okay, it's from San Francisco, so Bay Area. And she's also from NorCal. So she got me this super cute eyeshadow palette because baby it's like san francisco and i thought that was like so sweet and so thoughtful prior to her getting me this palette i never tried anything from the balm cosmetics and the streets i mean the streets <laughs> the eyeshadows are named after like things in san francisco so you have fog silicon valley golden gate bridge lombard street like alcatraz and i just thought that was so cute plus it's a neutral palette and i honestly feel like you can never have too many neutrals in your collection I used a little bit of it on my under eyes today. She also got me this Makeup Revolution blush, y'all. For the longest time, I was not a blush girl, but I've really been getting into blush more. This is in the color Bloom, and it's like a neon. I don't even know what you call this. To me, it's like a coral. The only thing I don't like, y'all, is the blush. It smells like Crayolas. You know, as a kid, and you got that fresh box of Crayola pants, and you open it, and it smells like wax. That's what it smells like. This is what it looks like blended out. Super pretty. That's what it looks like on my finger. Thank you, girl. Next thing I got was from my Secret Santa at work. And it is this 360 tripod. And of course, you know I had to be pink. I really wanted to get the JDI... I don't know what it's called, but it's like the 360 gimbal for your smartphone. And I really wanted to get that to get, you know, just for content purposes, but I plan on getting a camera. So it doesn't make sense to invest in that and invest in the camera. Like I just, I feel like I need one or the other. This is a 360 tripod. And what I love about it y'all is this screws off. So if I wanted to, I could stick this onto the current tripod I'm using, which I think is great. I will insert a clip of the tracking feature. It is good. It's not the best. It is a little jerky. You can't move too, too fast. But I like that you don't have to have like any apps or anything like that. She also got me some dupes. Now, because we're on this topic, I personally don't mind luxury dupes because I have real luxury things and I just feel like certain things are just not worth like spending all that money so the first thing she got me were these fendi hoops again these are dupes these are replicas these are not real fendi earrings but y'all they are so cute and to me they look exactly like the original ones from what i've seen this is what they look like and they're gold and they even say fendi i'm not sure if it's going to pick up on camera but it says fendi like in there yeah i love these earrings so much i think they're a good size not too big not too small i'm just gonna go ahead and put them on for you guys so you guys can see what they look like this is what they look like again they're super small but i love them like you guys cannot tell me these are not the cutest earrings ever and then the next thing she got me were these bottega earring dupes I'm more than those ones and I've worn these ones. And I got them in gold. And they're not heavy at all. And they're so pretty. I think these are like my new fave because they're just like elegant without being too much. See, this is the only thing I don't like about these is that I find that it's so hard for me to put the back on. But okay. And this is what these look like on. And y'all, I think these are just so pretty. They're like so elegant but like effortlessly elegant like i feel like you could wear these every day you could wear these like on a day up they're not like super heavy even though they look very heavy and i think i am gonna go ahead and order these in silver and baby nobody would ever know they would never know i don't know i feel like the end of this is rounded like it's not square like a normal earring back because it has a round thing and like it stops it from coming off like they're very secure but i just feel like sometimes they can be very hard to put on especially with nails i think those fendi earrings normally retail for th anywhere from like three to four hundred those are probably like twelve dollars on dhga so it's not real jewelry anyway it's costume jewelry why would i spend seven hundred dollars on fake earrings when i could spend twenty dollars on fake earrings i mean like it was going to be fake either way, you know what I'm saying? So the next thing I got was from my 
friend and she got me another dupe it is the i still cannot believe she got me this but it is the louis vuitton multi poochette and i have wanted this bag i feel like out of all the louis bags this is the one i've wanted one because the pink strap but i don't know i just feel like it's a great everyday bag you can dress it up dress it down and i love that it has the multi pouches and then you can shoulder it if you want it to As to my understanding the louis Puchette is coated canvas meaning it's not real leather anyway if it was leather that would be different i feel like leather goods are um more worth the investment so this is how she looks on and if you guys have the real lv multi pouchette let me know down in the comments i personally think it's a pretty good replica so it came with the pink strap and it also came with the army green strap which i personally think this is so cute for fall winter because i don't really wear green but maybe i'm so gonna start wearing it now i just don't want this to get dirty so i feel like i'd probably wear it more so with this one also the only other thing i've noticed is that i think on the real one the chain is a lot longer like if i were to shoulder this it falls like right here and i think with the real one it's supposed to fall maybe closer to your hip I don't really care. I love it. I cannot wait to use it. Yeah, I think it's a good size. And like I said, I love that you can detach these and you can also detach this. That is it for my dupes. So thank you guys so, so much. The next thing I got was from my boss. Y'all, I still, I still cannot believe she got me this, but YSL card holder. Looks like this. It's like the uh, Chevron grained with the gold hardware. And it's so cute. She got me this card holder because it matches my bag. Okay, also, this is real. My bag is real. But yeah, I think... Y'all, I cannot, I still cannot believe she got this for me. I am normally somebody that likes long zip around wallets. Right now I have my um, LV like trifold snap wallet. So I've never had a card holder. So for this thing, my first one. I'm excited. But it's funny because this bag, it has, I don't know if y'all can tell, but my bag, it has card slots in here, which some time I do use, but I'm so used to carrying my wallet that I just put it in here. But I'm glad to have this because my wallet is very chunky and I don't want it to like stretch this out. So can't wait to start using this. Like I said, I haven't even used this yet. It's still in the box though. Thank you so much, KK. I love it. I do not know how she found this because to my knowledge, it was sold out everywhere. But she got me the Dior Forever Liquid Rouge, um, the sequin Dior lipstick that was going viral all over YouTube, all over TikTok. If you haven't seen this, this is the Dior lipstick that when you put it on, you let it dry and when you go like this, it gets glittery. The only thing, you guys, is it's red and I... I don't wear a whole lot of red unless it's like well really i don't wear red ever i'm like definitely like a like a nude like a pink you know peachy girl i'm just gonna do a swatch of it on my hand like it's a true red don't get me wrong i think it's gorgeous but i just think i'm not used to wearing red lipstick okay this dried down i'm not sure if you guys can see any of the glitter but i can see some of the glitter in it I'm going to go ahead and rub it. Like, okay, I feel like it's very faint. But I saw, like, the light. There you go. Like, you guys see the glitter in it? It's a red lip with, I say, gold glitter. I'm also not used to matte lip, though. So when I put it on, I felt like baby i need gloss and then the gloss kind of took the glitter away but it's okay maybe this will encourage me to wear red lipstick more often my niece you know what? she actually got me some fuzzy socks that i'm wearing right now so i'm gonna just take it off show you can't go wrong with holiday fuzzy socks i mean i feel like we always get each other socks that's like our thing <laughs> like every christmas whether they're fuzzy or not but she also got me a super cute pink bento box and I'm excited because I always see like the little YouTube shorts of people doing like their lunch packing in the morning. And this is so cute because half on one end is chopsticks and on the other end it's a spoon and fork. 
and it's like the three stacks. So, oh no, did it just break? It did. There's a little chip in it right here, but that's fine. I just won't put anything like super saucy in the top. This is gonna be like my new lunch go-to. Cause baby, I've been using Tupperware and so ain't nothing wrong with Tupperware, but this is just cute and aesthetic, you know what I'm saying? So, baby, can we talk about what I got myself? Now, funny thing is, technically, this is not a Christmas gift. I got this for myself months ago, I'd say right when it was starting to become fall and winter. And I was like, well, I'm not going to wear these right now. So I was like, you know, I'm going to save them and open them for Christmas. I went and got myself some Chanel Sunny Joy. Like, can we just talk about the packaging? I just, I cannot. I honestly, I damn near don't want to open them because I wanted to do a YouTube short unboxing them. I'm going to insert a picture on the screen of what they look like. I like bigger frame sunglasses on me personally. So they're like a bigger square frame and they have silver CCs on them. Super simple. At first, I was kind of sad I got silver because I don't really wear silver. I feel like most of my jewelry is gold. Uh, granted, with the exception of my Pandora stuff, I'm just a gold girl. But I like the silver. It's different. Um, I don't think they had them in gold, so I had to get the silver. But that's okay because it encourages me to get more silver bags and stuff like that. So that is my first Chanel purchase. Can't wait for like the more to come, you guys. I'm so excited. It's so funny because I had been wanting a Montclair beanie. Like I literally was thinking about buying one, but I didn't know if I wanted black, white, or like a soft pink. But my auntie got me this Adidas beanie, which I'm super happy with because, oh, you know what? I do have a couple beanies. They're from Shein though, and they're both pink. So it's nice to have like something neutral. And now I realize I need to get a black and a gray and like olive, you know, more like fall, like it's just neutrals. But she got me that. And then she got me this super cute little pink portable flat iron can we just get into this makeup bag like it's so cute it's like glittery and there is one more gift that i did not show y'all but my friend melissa got me a it's like a hot cocoa set and it comes with two little snowman mugs hot chocolate coffee graham crackers like marshmallows that's like a hot cocoa and s'more set super cute if i can find a picture of it i will insert it here on the screen for you guys you know what's funny is even though those are like dupe items Baby, I'm still so happy with those earrings. I feel like now that I have them, I'm going to start wearing them more, which is going to have me wear my other earrings more. But I normally don't wear earrings because I feel like my hair always covers it. And then not to mention, y'all, I don't I don't know why this happens. Please help us this out if you can. But every time I install my wigs, I feel like the ear tap parts, they always lift up. Always. Like I couldn't even do like a half up, up, down if I, I mean, I still probably could finesse it. That's another reason I don't wear earrings is because when my hair's not like this, you can't really see them. I honestly think my favorite thing has got to be the AirPods because I've been using them like crazy. That is everything I got for Christmas this year, guys. If you had an amazing Christmas, let me know by giving this video a like. And let me know in the comments what was your favorite thing that you got for Christmas this year. But it's your girl T logging off. I will catch y'all in my next video.